Bono Colin Onion and his latest video recipe. I'm going to show you a classic for English recipes. This is Toad in a Hole. Ideal for those chilly nights that we're still in, even though we're in the tail end of April, then it should be British summertime. So many people get this wrong. It's such a simple dish. So trust me, this is how you execute it. The ingredients are pretty simple. Lard, milk, eggs, sausages, black pepper, and plain flour. Oven on a gas mark 7. Now the sausages, I've got good quality butcher's pork sausages. If you use cheap sausages, you get inferior tone in the whole. That's just a rule, you need to get good sausages. And the scissors are here just to snip the links. That is all we need the scissors for. Six sausages, this will serve two people comfortably. Lard. Uh, basic knife. We'll say about 40 grams of lard. Put that in there, and that goes into the oven. And that'll cook. So that goes into the oven and that'll cook for 40 minutes. Okay? The sausages have to be done completely before anything goes in. Now why lard? Well, lard has a high smoke point, so it's better than butter. It's better than olive oil in terms of flavour and smoke point. It's pork fat, so pork fat and pork sausages works quite well. Plus, it doesn't have a lot of flavour. So, the flavour comes from the Yorkshire pudding and the sausages rather than the fat. With olive oil, you get that olive taste which to me is counterproductive for when you're dealing with toad in the hole. So the fat shouldn't have the flavour, it should be the food. That's what happens in that. Now some people use goose fat, I say leave that for the roast potatoes, but that's just me. Now, next up, Yorkshire pudding. Three eggs. and approx 300ml of milk if this was to be used for a sweet dish I'll add some vanilla at this point but I'm not gonna and just give that a light look. Now, traditionalists are being horrified right now because they're going, oh my god, he's not adding the flour first. This way is better control, trust me. Bit of pepper, I'm not going to add salt because there's enough preservative in the sausages. And now, the flour. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit at a time, alright, and just whisk it in. And I'm going to keep doing this in additions until the texture is of double cream or slightly thicker than double cream. You don't want it to be too runny because otherwise it won't hold, but you don't want it too thick because otherwise you don't get the rise when it goes into the oven. So, little by little, that way you get better texture and better control. If you add the flour on the eggs and you thin it, it's a lot trickier to judge the texture. So keep going. It's not quite there yet. It's still a bit thin. It's probably a single cream texture. I think that's, I think that's just about got it. Yeah, you feel there's a bit of resistance when you whisk it. That is what you're after consistency wise. Scrape this into the jug. I 
deal without spilling any of it. And that goes into the fridge for 30 minutes. Now the reason why I want that in the fridge uncovered for 30 minutes is to cool down. Because when you add the cold batter to the very hot fat, you get the rise. It's the thermodynamic effect, just whoosh, straight up. No raising agents, I didn't use self-raising flour, I didn't use any leavening agents, I'm just, it's going to be natural heat. It is a simple recipe. Okay, oven's now a gas mark 9. Take the sausages out, batter in. In, close, 25 minutes. Don't open it for 25 minutes. If you have a timer, set it. All right, moment of truth, it's been in 25 minutes. Let's see how it looks. Whoa! Okay, that I think is what you call spectacular. Look at that! Look at the rise! Woohoo! That needs to be served immediately with some broccoli and some gravy. I'll tell you what, a little bit of it. Just for the batter's sake. Mm. You're hearing this, right? That's going to get served up. I've been in a deep stone, Connor Munion. Take it easy. Good night. <laughs>